Kombucha. Do a quick search of kombucha online and you'll find health claims that it fends off certain cancers, detoxes your body, helps you shed weight and turns your immune system into a fortress. But does kombucha really have these health benefits? Could it actually kill you? Keep watching to the end to find out. First, it's helpful to understand what kombucha actually is. Kombucha is produced by fermented tea, sugar, fungi and bacteria. It's made by adding specific strains of bacteria, yeast and sugar to black or green tea, then allowing it to ferment for a week or more. Now let's explore the health benefits of kombucha. Number one, detoxes your body. There are claims out there that kombucha can detox your body, but is this actually true? Kombucha does have so-called detoxing properties, just not in the way you might think. Your liver already does a pretty good job of breaking down and flushing toxic substances from your body. Kombucha, on the other hand, may offer a slight health boost through its concentration of polyphenols. Polyphenols are a type of antioxidant that can fight inflammation in your body, which is a good thing. These antioxidants reduce your exposure to oxidation a chemical process that damages your cells, which can eventually lead to things like heart disease, stroke, or even cancer. Some research, including a study from 2014, suggests that consuming antioxidant-rich kombucha may help protect against drug-induced liver damage in animals. This suggests that kombucha may play a role in promoting liver health and reducing liver inflammation, and therefore helping it flush out those toxic substances from your body. But there is currently no evidence suggesting that drinking kombucha benefits liver health in humans. So there's no evidence to back up this claim. Number two, weight loss. So can it really help with weight loss? In short, not really. There's not enough research to support that kombucha can help you drop those pounds. But if you tend to reach for sugary drinks on a regular basis, kombucha is an alternative that can help you cut back on the sweet stuff. That, in turn, has the potential to help you lose weight. Kombucha is typically lower in calories than many juices, soft drinks, and alcoholic beverages. However, it still provides some calories and should be taken into account into the contents of your overall diet. Also, kombucha could contribute to a healthy balance of gut bacteria. A healthy balance of gut bacteria can help to maintain a suitable weight. But remember, kombucha is not a magic elixir that will help you shed the pounds. Number three, boost immunity. Firstly, I'm definitely not keen on the phrase boost immunity. You can't boost your immune system through diet. Although eating a well-balanced diet can help ensure the normal functioning of the immune system, no individual nutrients, food or supplement is going to boost it beyond normal levels. So what's the link between kombucha and immunity? Well, it starts with the fermentation process of the sugar, fungi and bacteria. This produces a large amount of bacteria such as lactic acid bacteria, which may have probiotic function. Probiotics, aka good bacteria, provide your guts with healthy bacteria. These bacteria can improve digestion and inflammation. Research suggests that having a healthy balance of gut bacteria can promote immune health. But to date, there's not enough studies to confirm whether kombucha contains enough beneficial bacteria to be deemed an effective probiotic. So again, there's not enough evidence to back up this claim. And finally, number four, protect against cancer. Cancer is characterized by cell mutation and uncontrolled cell growth. In test tube studies, so not humans, show that kombucha helped prevent the growth and spread of cancerous cells due to its high concentration of T polyphenols and antioxidants. It's thought that the polyphenols block G mutation and growth of cancer cells while also promoting cancer cell death. However, whether kombucha has any anti-cancer effects in people has not been confirmed. These were test tube studies, so it's unknown whether drinking kombucha has any effects on cancer risk in people. So when it comes to health claims, in short, there isn't enough evidence that kombucha tea delivers on its health claims. Could it actually kill you? Yes, you heard me right, it could actually kill you. Contaminated or over fermented kombucha can cause serious health problems and even death so you need to make sure you prepare it properly and just make sure you don't have any crazy growth on there i would say the number one growth that is not good is like a blue fuzz that has happened to me before and that means your kombucha is bad the safe option is to buy kombucha at a store or online commercial products are tasty and considered alcohol free as they must contain less than 0.5 percent alcohol however check the ingredients and try to avoid brands that are high in added sugar let's sum up with an all things nutrition review many people believe that kombucha helps treat all sorts of chronic health problems however human studies on the effects of kombucha are few and the evidence for its health effects are limited if you decide to try homemade kombucha 
make sure it's properly prepared. Contaminated kombucha may cause more harm than good. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to watch more videos just like this. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you next time.